Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today I'm at Kenny Upol, and I'm going to be showing you probably the weirdest looking Nissan I've ever encountered. Well, ever made, I think. It's the Nissan Cube. Now, I'm not sure what it's based off of. I think it's based off of a compact car platform. And they call it the Cube because, well, it's, uh... Yeah. Say no more, right? This one's a 2009, so it's fairly new. And the interior is a little bit strange in styling. They had a really wide seat, I find. And this one here had 243,000 kilometers on it. I do believe these had a CVT transmission, though, which wasn't so good. Nissan and CVTs are not friends. And the styling of the interior, like, look at the dash. It's, I can appreciate the different, how different it is, but it's maybe just a little too out there for me. Like, kind of weird, if you ask me. I can appreciate it, though. They went for something different, well, they, they got it. And it, it did sell. I, I don't think they make them anymore. But it is only, is it a, oh, it is a six-seater, a five-seater. I thought it was just a four-seater with how thin it is, but it's not. It's a five. It actually does seem like pretty good build quality, though, to be honest. And I can't knock it for that because it looks like this one stood up pretty well. Rockford Fosgate stereo, not bad. A little, there's a sub in the trunk hit the back door, I think. But these seats could fold down and pull into the floor, I think. And you had a flat load floor. It was, or you take them out and you have a flat load floor. It was like a mini SUV, and you had a little storage pocket up there because you didn't have a window there. But that does create a pretty big blind spot, and I'm not a fan of blind spots. Like I said, I can appreciate the design. Looks like it did have new brakes put on the back and new springs and some work was recently done to it. <clears throat> but I think it's here because of this, which unbelievably enough, all that took it out was a bumper and a fender. Unbelievable. This hood's really tiny. <laughs> Cute little hood. But uh, we have no sticker to so tell me what this is. Does it say there? I have no clue. Oh, 1792. So this has a 1.8 liter engine. Naturally aspirated. You could get this with a 5 speed too. I would prefer the 5 speed automatically just because the CVT transmission. I could. I don't think I'll ever be able to love a CVT transmission, to be honest. It's, I don't know, I'm just not a fan. I mean, they were interesting little vehicles back in their day, these were, but they seem to be a fad that came and just died. Because I don't see any on the road anymore, but I do believe, yes, these were made in Japan because they have a J VIN number. But yeah, just a different vehicle. Something you don't see every day. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.